This is a 120 watt adapter. This is a 120 watt adapter. How the heck did they squeeze all this into this? Let's see how they did it. Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another review video. This time, a little backstory to this. So I was contacted by a brand, uh, Koval, as evidenced by the logo up here, and they make power supplies. Normally that wouldn't be that interesting, uh, but in my particular situation, I used to work as a research lab assistant uh, at, a, at a university, and our lab actually studied GAN, uh, well, in general we studied high power, you know, high density power supplies and um, applying, you know, smart, uh, smart algorithms to them for different types of applications like smart grids, battery charging, all that kind of good stuff. And one of the projects that we actually worked on was uh, implementing a GAN converter. And this was actually kind of in the early days. It wasn't it wasn't commercialized uh, back then, really. And yeah, so that's sort of my background in this. It's interesting to see it go from something that you had to order directly from the manufacturer and like sign NDAs to obtain to all the way now where you can actually go out and buy a GAN power supply. And the whole purpose, so gallium nitride, or as everyone calls it, GAN, is basically a, uh, it's a new higher density uh, switch, basically. It's like, a, it, it is a transistor, but it uses uh, different semiconductor uh, materials, namely gallium and uh, nitrogen. <laughs> and so basically, uh, this will allow you to switch at a faster frequency so that Overall, you can make things in general a lot more efficient, uh, can handle a lot more power for the same amount of space or even less space than conventional technology. And conventionally, we'll use something like, you know, MOSFETs or something like that if it's like low to medium uh, power that we require. And uh, the whole point is they gave me a 120 watt uh, power supply, which is insane uh, if you think about it. Given the size of this box, number one, I'm lifting it and it's pretty hefty too. So, you know, they definitely shoved uh, quite a bit of circuitry in here. I'm not sure physically how big it is. I've only seen pictures of it online and I just realized I need to grab a knife. Give me a sec. And I'm back with the knife. There we go. And yeah, let's just see. Yeah. Uh, I live in the U.S., so obviously uh, 120 volts is going to be my flavor. However, this is a dual input, so it'll work all the way up to 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz, doesn't matter. Uh, total output, it says 120 watts max, which is pretty insane. And uh, this guy has four USB ports, apparently, as you can see here. Two of them full-size, two of them Type-C. And it looks like we got some indicators on here. And let's just pop this open. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, okay, the boring part. Okay, it's just a figure eight lead uh, with a very nice one of these Velcro strap thingies. And let's see how long that cord is. Let's just get this out of the way. Okay, the cord, if I stretch it out, is about probably like three or four feet, maybe three and a half or four feet. So it's not super short, not super long either. The adapter itself, <laughs> wow, it's even smaller than I thought. That's crazy, 120 watts, literally in the palm of my hand. And my hands are pretty small, so uh, just, but it is super chunky. Like, if you threw this at someone, you could probably kill them. Not that I'm saying you should throw GAN power bricks at people, but it definitely could. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting design. It's like a matte. I want to say it's like some kind of plastic, but it also feels kind of slightly cool. So it could be metal that's been um, coated. With like a very soft touch kind of coating. That, that's actually really nice. And there is some glossy accents, which will get dusty and scratched up. But 
they kept it at a minimal at the very top here. And then the end cap is matte. So we're going to be plugging stuff in, and if, if you don't get it right, uh, you might scratch this up. That won't really matter. It's matte plastic. Uh, it won't show as easily. So yeah, we have the two full-size quick charge ports and two PD ports here. We have three indicator LEDs, uh, which I'm not really sure what specifically they'll indicate. I'll have to read on that. And the back, we have the input. And yeah, you can see it says 120 watt port GAN desktop charger. So it says the PD outputs can do 3 amps at 5 volts, 3 amps at 9 volts, 27 watts, and 3 amps at 15 volts, 45 watts. Then it goes on to 5 amps at 20 volts for 100 watts max. And for the that's for the PD outputs, for the, the quick charge outputs, the PD being power delivery, of course. Uh, the QC outputs can do 3 amps at 5 volts for 15 watts, 2 amps at 9 volts for 18 watts, 1.5 amps at 12 volts for 18 watts, and max for each port, that is. And the total dissipation is 120, so you're not going to get 120 out of a single port. Uh, but you will, if you're charging multiple, like, kind of heavy load devices at once, this will do 120. That That blows my mind. Very nice build, though. I will say, yeah, it does look like, can't tell if that's silk screened on or it looks metallic. Could be silk screened on or could be like etched out of whatever they used to coat this. I, I would scratch this with a knife just to see what it is, but it looks so pretty. I really don't want to do that right now. But yeah, uh, let's plug this in and... I might have to move the camera for this because I just realized I have no outlets within reach of the cord. So give me one sec. Okay, it is plugged in and three lights came on on the front. And I will say, a lot of manufacturers of electronics put way too bright indicator LEDs on. These are perfectly visible and they're not blindingly bright. They, they did the right thing. They're just visible enough that you could see them. Um... Maybe if you have like super bright like studio lights on, you it might wash it out. But uh, yeah, those look pretty good to me. Uh, not sure if they're individual indicators or if it's just one LED lighting up. It kind of looks like it's one LED because the middle one is brighter than the outer two. Uh, just slightly noticeably. But let's see what else came in the box. We have the customer service hotline card, obligatory. Here, here we go. Yeah, so one year warranty, plus an extra 12 months if you register. So two years, which isn't bad. And we just have specifications there, caution, etc., etc. More languages, user guide, plug in, use. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's going to be any anything difficult on that. Yeah, so let's plug in something... I'll have to find something kind of hefty. Probably the uh, the mini hot plate that I got uh, would be a good test for this because I know that can that can pull some serious current uh, when it gets up to you know full heat. So give me a second to get set up on this, and I can maybe get some figures out using a USB analyzer as well. Okay, so I've been using this guy for a little while, mostly actually at my bedside to charge. Uh, like my various tablets and my phone just to charge them up a little faster. I have that uh, that little uh, I would grab it right now but it's plugged in uh, that multiple uh, like eight charger dock that I did a review video of in the past uh, I still have that by my bedside and that's the most useful just because it has so many plugs I can have like everything plugged in at once uh, but this overall will charge significantly faster uh, just because of the, the power rating on this guy. Uh, I might have forgotten to mention the, the price on this uh, isn't particularly cheap. I think it's like around 100 bucks. It might be on sale. Uh, I'll, I'll put an, an updated link if it is. But yeah, I have... Uh, I, I could do uh, USB-C to C, and I might test that out with this. Uh, this is kind of the heaviest load I have uh, in terms of something that I would use this practically for. It's this MPH, uh, sorry, it's this MHP30, which is a mini hot plate. 
And this guy can suck a significant amount of current because it actually will charge, uh, you know, pull at the higher quick charge modes in order to heat up. This is a hot plate. It gets up to like 250, 300 degrees Celsius. So uh, this is something that I've been using with my, my uh, PowerAd power bank. And it works great, but it takes actually kind of long to heat up. I say kind of long. It takes like about five to like eight minutes to get up to temperature. So oftentimes what I'll do is I'll have my uh, heat gun and I'll actually simultaneously heat this plate from above just to get it up to temperature like in less than five minutes. And it works, but that's sort of not the greatest way to go about it. So I wanted to see if this guy would be any faster. So we'll run a few tests right now. Now it does have the power um, delivery mode via the USB Type-C connectors and I have Type-C to Type-C cables. The only problem is I can't uh, monitor like how much power or what the current is because I only have this uh, USB meter which you know will only take full size or micro it doesn't have a type c connector on it so i can't directly patch into that okay so i have type c to type c and hopefully this will tell us uh, the voltage as well just boot this guy up there we go it says 19 volts so it is outputting Unfortunately, I can't see the current because I can't plug in my USB analyzer. Oops. Oh, because I'm tilting it. Yeah, when you tilt this, I have it set so if it tilts over, it'll actually shut off to protect you. Uh, but yeah, we can see it's actually rising pretty fast. So I think I... Let's put it up to M3, which I think I have set to like 250 maybe, maybe a little higher uh, Celsius. So let's see how long it takes to get up to that. So we're counting at 20 seconds right now. I really wish I could see the current that it's drawing, uh, but at least we know it is. it has negotiated 19 volts on the output. And this is rising already significantly faster. Uh, with the PowerEd power bank, uh, it was maybe about one degree Celsius per second-ish, and it slowed down as it got close to the uh, the range that might be the PID compensator here uh, it'll slow down the uh, the rate of increase as you get closer to the target temperature but yeah you can see here it's pretty quick it's about like two degrees per second ish and yeah I, I'm not touching this keep in mind but I'm feeling it oops sorry about that I accidentally tilted it so I'm going to have to actually keep track of time. It reset the time now, but I'll keep track of time in terms of uh, when I go to edit this video and I'll tell you the final value. So 223456. Yeah, it's getting up there. So yeah, this is significantly faster. So 100% I will use this uh, Koval adapter when I'm doing hot plate, uh, you know, when I'm actually using this hot plate to reflow solder. Yeah, it's already surpassed 260. I might have had this set maybe to like 300 or something like that. It's looking like. So I think now it's been maybe about two minutes total, and it's already up to past 300. I forget what I set the set temperature to. It should be getting pretty close, though. Yeah, you can see it slowed down. It overshot a little bit. I think I set this to 300. Yeah. So the symbol here changed from an upwards arrow to like a wavy line, which means it's at the regulation temperature. So I must have set this to 300. So it reached 300 in about like two and a half minutes, maybe, which is actually really good. That's about quicker than half the time when I was using a power bank to, to power this up. And yeah, I'm just going to let that cool down because this is actually still quite hot. That's that's really fast. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, and the cable is maybe a tiny bit warm but not really so yeah 
this adapter will be perfect. I'm actually uh, looking to get one of uh, Miniware's uh, like TS-80 soldering irons because then I could uh, use this kind of as a complete portable solder rework station. I could make a little kit to throw in my backpack and just use this adapter. Now, obviously, it's more convenient to use a battery pack with a Type-C outputs. But if I need to get a job done quickly and I don't want to sit there and wait for, you know, almost double the time for it to heat up, this guy pushes out plenty of current. Uh, and I can simultaneously actually plug a phone into charge or whatever. So I'm really liking the power density on this guy. It's it's kind of crazy just how, how small this is compared to how much power it can output. So yeah, this is actually going to take a significant amount of time to cool down. So I'm just going to let that run. So yeah, we are back. So do I think this is worth, uh, last I checked, this was about a hundred bucks. So do I think this is worth a hundred bucks? It, it's definitely a little bit pricey uh, for like a general purpose AC adapter to USB type C and quick charge. But I think this would be perfect for someone who kind of either travels a lot, has a laptop that, that, requires a, a type c for charging as well because this guy can push my laptop i believe is 45 watts i think so this could fully charge my laptop at its full rate while fully charging like multiple tablets and phones at the same time which is fantastic and this had absolutely no trouble uh pushing my my little mini hot plate at full tilt and heating it up to full speed within like two and a half minutes, uh, if that. So yeah, that in terms of how much time this will save you not having to charge as much and how compact this is, this is going to live in my backpack now. Uh, the charger for my laptop is actually like literally falling apart. The, um, the insulation's breaking down like right where the, the cord meets the body and it's not replaceable. There's no plug or anything. I'm gonna be upgrading the adapter to this guy. Uh, this will, e even the, the stock adapter on my laptop gets actually pretty hot when it's charging the battery from nearly empty. And if I'm running like the processor at almost a hundred percent, I have no doubt that this guy will easily be able to recharge that while like charging my phone at the same time and barely get warm. Uh, even when I was using the hot plate, this guy didn't even get warm. The cord, the USB-C cord got slightly warm maybe. Uh, but this was still cool to the touch, which is, that's pretty crazy. 120 watts, literally, like, in the palm of your hand. Uh, it's definitely very dense, but I'm I'm really impressed by this, actually. So, yeah, it, it's a little bit expensive, but if you want to use it to, like, charge kind of high-powered devices like laptops and stuff like that, yeah, absolutely get one of these. You will not regret it. Uh, this guy is going straight into my backpack, and I will carry this around with me in place of the the stock laptop charger adapter. Uh, I just need, the only thing is I will need to find a, uh, a type C to type C cable that can support charging at like 45 Watts. I have a bunch of like wimpy cables that probably aren't going to cut it. So I'm going to have to find something that's like thicker, uh, that I can just plug right into here and the other end into my laptop. Uh, but yeah, overall, if you guys need one of these, uh, like high wattage uh, power supplies that can pretty much plug anything into the other end and it'll work at like full power, uh, Koval is definitely your guy. This is one of those things, uh, probably over time, the price will drop a little bit. And I think maybe if they made a model that was not so cube shaped and a little bit flatter at a slightly lower wattage, like even 80 watts would probably be overkill for like four USB outputs. I haven't looked at if they have other models, but I would like to see also a unit that's maybe a little bit smaller, uh, that's a little bit more portable. Now, this is just going to go into my backpack, so I have plenty of room there. So um, size really isn't an issue, even though it's like tiny. Uh, but maybe for some other use cases, people might want a unit that's a little bit slimmer, that'll uh, you know fit into like a purse or whatever. Uh, that might be something that could be useful for a slightly different target demographic. But anyway, yeah, if you guys are interested, I will have links down below for this guy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.